All right, YouTube, it's Pharaoh KD once again. And earlier today, I did my basement slash home theater setup. So I figure why not do the um, the den slash lounge setup. So we'll start and I'll try to go quick. Echo, turn on lights. All right, so in most of the rooms in the house, I do have an Amazon Alexa device. Many times I call the device something different, but in here it is Echo. All right, so we're starting there with that. And this is a built-in, this was like this already, a built-in unit. And it's like a perfect space, in my opinion, for um, for your TV setup and what have you. So we'll start right here with the, this is a Samsung QLED 55-inch uh, smart TV. And that is the, the main thing in this little den, or as I like to call it, the, the lounge. Unlike down in the basement, you know, this has HDR and, and all that good stuff. So the picture quality is better than what's downstairs, even though downstairs is a bigger TV. This was uh, purchased in 2018. And as opposed to what I have downstairs, which was purchased probably in 2013 or 14. All right. So processing everything is my Sony HTST 5000. So this is the main thing processing the audio and the video is going through this unit as well. I rock it with the grill on, but I think that I'm gonna go ahead and rock it with the grill off. I'm not, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. And I, and I say, that I may do it with the grill off because I'm using the Harmony Logitech remote here and the remote blaster. Let's see if I can zoom in on it right here on the edge there. The blaster doesn't go through the grill. Not all the time, not 100% of the time. So I had to change the settings on this remote so that the remote IR blaster works the, the sound bar instead of having it go through the, uh, the IR blaster right there. So I'm going to play around with that and determine which way, which way I like it best. I don't know if I like it exposed or with the grill on. It looks cleaner with the grill on, but it looks more, I don't know, more because I'm a gadget type person. So it looks more gadgety with um, when you see the actual speakers uh, in the sound bar itself. And speaking of the sound bar, I might as well just rock some sounds. Anyway, this is set up through Bluetooth. We play a little sounds in the background. That's for my man Travis Nelson. His SoundCloud is What's Your Sound? What's Your Sound? W H U T Z U R S O N D. What's Your Sound? So check my man out on um on SoundCloud. We'll let his music play in the background as we go forward. So I have this tray here that I sit on the ottoman for all of these damn remotes, even though I do have the Logitech Harmony remote from time to time, you need to use the actual remote, um, you know, when you're dealing with uh, these uh, devices. So going along with the sound bar is the subwoofer. This is a nice big subwoofer here, and I have it tucked away on the side 
of the of the sitting area here. Sounds good in my opinion. I don't know if I want to turn the music up and then you can't you can't hear me too well. But um I have all of these old CDs. I really don't use CDs anymore. This is more of a, a decorative piece. I was not going to throw it away. I went ahead and painted it burgundy and have all the CDs stored in there. That's approximately uh, 800 or so CDs there. Knickknacks and stuff, decoration on the top. Up there, those are not albums. Those are actually Laserdisc covers for Laserdisc movies. I'm a gadget guy, so when Laserdiscs were out, of course, I had a Laserdisc player. All right, so we'll go through. Let's look down here real quick. Tucked away. Tucked away down here. We'll start with what I actually use. In the middle here, you have the, this is a Sony 4K Blu-ray player. I forget the model number. But that's, um, I think was about 300 or so dollars. It's a relatively good unit um, for, for the price. Above that, is the files one box it is a 4k box and another ir blaster right there so those are the, the two things that i actually use i have the uh power power strip right there surge protector uh conveniently located near the devices down here well i should stay up here you of course have the wii i don't use the wii it's not even, I think I have it hooked up via HDMI, but I don't even have it plugged in because I never, I never use Wii. Uh, down there is a pad to uh, power or uh, recharge the Wii remotes. One of the remotes is broken, so I, I would have to replace that even if I wanted to use the, uh, the Wii. Down here is the... Um, this is the Pioneer LaserDisc player. This thing is not hooked up, but I have it ready to hook up in case I uh, ever wanted to. Um, I guess I'll just keep that. I'm not going to try to sell it to anyone. Um, you're not going to make much money on that. And I like keeping the old equipment. Up here, I have a Sony DVD recorder. This is a DVD recorder. So, of course, it plays DVDs and records DVDs if I were ever to uh, decide to, to use that. I use Blu-ray disc and 4K Blu-ray. Um, I never really pull out a, a DVD, even though I still have probably about 300 or so uh, DVDs. And this is the hub for the Logitech Harmony Remote. So you can tuck the hub away and you run through wires, the IR blasters to wherever you need to use the IR blaster for the Logitech Harmony remote. That's what I have over there. Down here, used to be a mess, but I cleaned it up a little bit. I put this little stand in here and these are, you know, net, some Netgear um, hubs. This is an old VCR. If I ever needed to use it, I'll pull it out. Then you, you, I have my um, network switches here and here because I'm running. Um, I like to hardwire everything that I that I need to hardwire. Like my, um, this is a Apple Mac Mini. It's hardwired. The um, the soundbar is actually hardwired. The uh, Blu-ray disc player, every, everything is hardwired instead of uh, Wi-Fi, and it's running from the uh, Samsung Smart Things mesh network. And I have these 
these pods throughout the house for the mesh network. And I think that's pretty much that. Got a levitating globe right here. That's cool. Just decoration. That's the Samsung Smart Things mesh network uh, pod. And everything is hardwired through that. I'm running this Samsung tablet here to control I used the the uh, the harmony uh, remote app from the tablet there to control the system I also use it to play music from SoundCloud uh, Google Play music Spotify you ha you name it whatever the case may be little brown leather couches. And that is my little lounge area. I find it comfortable. This is Farrell KD, and I'm out.